Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Settlement Survival, and we have a lot to do, as is usually the case with most of the games I seem to play on the channel. Let's see, this episode, what do we want to do? We want to, what are we working towards? I want to get these homes upgraded, and we need brick to do that, and we also need glass to do that. What is this? Building kits. Okay, total reserves, building kits, new materials for structure upgrades made from steel, planks, and glass. Glass or bricks, it says, and glass or bricks. So we're on the path to making bricks over here. We do have a kiln down. We just have to select our recipe. Let's pick brick. And I've got the game paused at the moment. I guess I can put us, let's uh, at least go single speed. And then we've got our sand pit and gathering clay. That's what's needed for the brick, I believe. Oh, did we not? Did it not take? The brick. There it goes. Must not, maybe I didn't click it. And this guy, I think just needs clay, right? Mining clay, I'm pretty sure that's all this thing needs. So that's running, we got the brick going, but it looks like for the upgrades we need steel. Right? Made from steel. We need steel to do these building kits, apparently. Let's see what steel's all about. I know we were looking at that last episode in the tech tree under mining, I believe. We've got the sand mining underway. Uh, no, we've got this is what we need. Refined fuel is activated. Smelting. Unlock the smelter which produces steel. Unlock the advanced smithy. We can activate this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Like we can build it too. Uh, oh, I don't have any tech... <laughs> I don't have any technology points left. All right, that's coming. We want to do that. What was the other thing? I wanted to add storage as well and find a reasonable spot to do it, uh, to have a sizable storage yard. We've got one over here. We've got one little guy here. And I'm thinking we could do maybe one, maybe right nestled among this mess next to our quarry. Let's do it. Let's do a kind of a seaside storage area. Not really desperate, but I don't want to forget about it. And I don't think it's very expensive to build. Let's do something. Okay, area is too large. Large, too large. So that's as much as they're going to let us do. Uh, should we do a different shape? Okay, it looks like there is a restriction on the dimensions too, right? They're not letting me do like a long, narrow one. All right, that'll do 10 by 10. Maybe that's, that's all we can do. So we've got that taken care of. Uh, we want to get more people. We've got 14 students, and 14 kids. So that's actually looking pretty good. I've got zero laborers, of course, which uh, looks horrible. We've got three people doing repairs. Let's look at building health here. Look on one of these houses. Uh, I need to escape out of that build menu. Escape, escape. Right click. There we go. Durability 131. I'm just looking at a couple houses at random to see how repaired they are. This one's not very repaired, and it's right next to the repair place. These uh, neighbors must not be getting along or something. Yeah, Daryl will be 52. You got two people repairing. Gathering. Hmm. Not sure if we need to add more. I'm looking for a way to free up a worker. How are we doing on firewood? We still have five people building that. Maybe I can steal one. 
under household goods here. Yeah, let's take a uh, let's take both of these workers out of the chopping house. I believe the um, domestic fuel production is more efficient when it's done at the sawmill versus this chopping house. So we'll let that run. Now we've got two laborers. Uh, I do have a flax farm that needs a worker. We're in October. So there's no work being done on these fields right now anyway. Do we have any new animals that we can bring about? Let's see. Turkey, goose, and duck. We've already got those three. We've got a citizen freezing. That's probably a clothing issue more than a fuel issue. And we have a trade ship coming. We don't have much cash. 1,100 silver coins. So we're not going to be able to buy like a new animal to raise. We could potentially buy clothing. I bet that's the issue here. Let's look at the help and see what that symbol is telling us. Status. Cold. Citizens are freezing. Need to get warm. They cannot get warm soon. Their HP will start to decrease. When HP reaches zero, they will freeze to death. Produce enough clothing and domestic fuel to keep the citizens warm. Got plenty of domestic fuel. But maybe these guys are just too far away. Um, the other thing I wanted to upgrade was our roads. So we've got one kind of carved stone path here. You can see maybe we should look to um, extend that out towards the sea here. Don't know that we're producing more carved stone though. Okay, I'm going to kick it back up to five times speed. And let's look for the stonemason. It's here. It's not even staffed. How are we doing on the raw resource? We've got a fair amount of stone coming out of the quarry. Let's put someone on this for now. In the masonry workshop. We need people. Guess we could... We've got more coming. Like I said, we've got like 28... Future workers growing up right now. The merchants here, we can try to trade. I don't think we're going to find much. I'll pause it. Yeah, we don't get to sell resources to this guy. We can only buy, as far as I can tell. We could buy food. Food is low, but I think that's going to rebound. Pumpkin, plum, lettuce, <clears throat> a puppy. You could buy a puppy for a thousand. Um, backpack, leather shoes. Malt and glass bottles. Um, I don't see much here I'm interested in. <clears throat> Although there's some stuff that's not very expensive. Fishing net. Let's dismiss this one. Send him on his way. Not worry about that right now. Don't have that much cash. I do want to send a, a caravan. Put that together. But we need more people. Butcher doesn't have anybody. Our veg processing does. Food. Peas, lettuce, pumpkin... I need more farms too. Okay, we yeah, we've got the one laborer that we freed up. Our people are cold. I have a feeling that is clothing. Can I see my buildings? I'm curious to see. Yeah, clothing. Do we have anybody? Producing. Yeah, we did produce some clothes. Brown jackets from the feathers, right? How can I see if I've got a tailor building? Town overview. Story worker, trader, teacher, cutter, dung collector, cook. Am I missing it? Did we build a tailor? 
curious how we're producing um, clothing without a worker or without a uh, tailor building. This is agriculture resources. Processing the butcher, chopping house, sawmill, kiln, smithy, masonry workplace. Yeah, I don't think we do. Hair shops. Yeah, this is showing us all the buildings. So this is super helpful. And I'm just waiting for workers here to free up. Uh, let's look for... Looking for where the tailor. We do have it. Must not have this built. I thought I did. But we're not seeing it in that display up here. Structure overview, right? Gotta think that it would be in processing. Let's maybe do a tailor shop. And process leather, wool, linen, or cotton cloth into clothes can be upgraded. Do it. Do it. I'm going to do it a little further away. In fact, I'm going to put my road down first. We'll just go with the dirt road for now. Boom. Knitting workshop. Can process reeds or flax into ropes. Fishnets. Uh, I kind of want both of these. Taylor. They'll fit back to back. Doubt it, right? This one's taking up five slots. Let's not bother with that. Let's, uh, this guy here. A knitting workshop. Oh, looks like it might have fit. Let's cancel this one. Let's try it if we can get these back to back. That would be cool. Taylor there, getting workshop there. Oh man, that is perfect. That is pretty cool. So we'll queue those up for being built. What else? Why is this guy complaining? Uh, preparing materials for the structure. What? Just not built yet? Hey, total reserves. Weed farmers need clay. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're harvesting clay right next door. So we did put down a reed field. I think this is going to get us material that we need, yeah, for paper and ropes. That's waiting on clay to be dredged up. This guy is waiting on clay to be dredged up. Let's take this worker out for now and have them do something else productive while they're waiting. Where are we at? We're in January. Ooh, what is that symbol? It almost looks like a little coffee cup. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, another person's got it too. Are we running out of water? Oh my gosh, we're running out of water. How's that possible? And a well here, I guess. Let's put, oh, let's put another worker on the well. Seems kind of odd. All right, back to playing. And let's just verify in the help that that's what that message means. Thirsty, yeah. Citizens thirsty require drinking water. Hey, can ensure supply drinking water by constructing wells and assigning water fetchers to gather it. You can also use coins to order drinking water. I guess that's from like the trade ship. Hey, a caravan from the north passed by and their drinks were running out. They want to exchange their goods for some spirits. Yeah, we can say no, we don't have it. All right, I put another person on the well. Hopefully, I reserve zero. Yeah, that we need to bounce back. We probably need to get another well in town somewhere. Maybe not real close by. Get a lot of people out here at the seaport. What about having a well over this way? How 
about there. And maybe let's prioritize this one. Happiness has been ticking down probably because they're thirsty. This was just at just close, super close to being at a hundred percent, but it has definitely ticked down. Got to keep an eye on water. Got to keep an eye on a lot of things. I think they're burning through the fuel here too, since I've taken people off of our uh, firewood production or what they call domestic fuel production. We still have three people doing it. How are we doing with timber? Timber's okay. I've got, I've been pulling people out of my forester units. I've got one there and I've got three down here. So we've got four people producing trees. These are all roads that need to be upgraded. Did put our mason back to work. How are we doing on building materials? We've got 87 cut stone. Let's do a little bit. Um, how do we want to do this? Thinking about where to upgrade the roads. Kind of makes sense to upgrade near the storage places, right? Because they seem to be walking there a lot. Let's go to roads, cut stone road, and let's do a little bit of upgrade here. Okay, that only takes 24. Upgrade that little stretch. Let's upgrade this little stretch if we can. And then I do want to upgrade the main road. These guys seem to be taking a strange route into town. Look how they go around this, up this hill. That was kind of strange pathing. All right, life is just cruising on by here. These folks got lots of iron. That's good to see. Timber's okay. Our fuel's okay. Waiting on people. Go, people. Okay, Dale reached school age and went to school for study. Peter, the miner, has died of thirst. Oh, man, that's not good to see. That's not good to see. There's water here. I don't think it's all frozen. What's the issue, folks? Hmm. Gear. Remodel the mill and reservoir with the gear to make the rotation more smooth. Thus improve its work efficiency. Not enough materials. We would need to produce 100 gears and we could upgrade our wells. Three people working, fetching water. this year. All right, I'm just looking at the uh, production rates here. We do have the well prioritized, the second well. Like it just needs one more nugget of iron, which we've got. Hopefully that'll come online soon, and hopefully we'll get some workers soon. Lost one. March arrived, April arrived. Boy, I would have liked to have had this farm going, this last little farm. Um, can I safely take someone off of timber? Doesn't look like it. Where might I scavenge a person? Nothing looks good. We are very thinly spread, spread out with citizens. We need some people to get to working age. Our second well is being built. I don't really have anybody to work it. I don't want to take a person off my clay, but, but that's probably the lowest priority thing I've got going. Water's at zero. I'm going to have to, yeah, as soon as this gets built, we're going to have to take the clay mine down and get someone in here for water. I mean, I could take someone off of production. Let's do that. Let's take a builder off. We're down to one builder. Let's add someone to water just until we see this come into uh, 
bigger numbers, much bigger numbers. Cause that's a little scary. That's going to be a death spiral for us. If we don't take care of that, I'm sure. And how are we doing on firewoods? Okay. I'm going to take one worker off of that just so we have a laborer walking around. Happiness is going down. We got another citizen who's thirsty. Six citizens want new houses. We get a new tech point finally. All right, let's uh let's make use of that. People is our biggest issue right now. We need people. Mining. We find fuel we have. We were gonna do this one, I think. Smelter. Let's do it. Boom. Lots of buildings without people. Lots and lots. Uh, let's see. That room, maybe. Veg processing, butcher, masonry, and smithy. Let's, uh, let's carve out some space here. Start with the dirt road <clears throat> for the smelter building. Smithy, masonry, water, sawmill. We haven't used that yet. Sawmill, chipping house, tailor, knitting, veg, butcher. Where is it? Where is it? I'm missing something obvious here. Looking for the smelter. I thought we just unlocked it. Smithy, masonry workshop. Knitting workshop, veg processing plant, butcher, stamp it, quarry, mine, forester's hut. Not this, and it's not that. Let's look at the tech tree. I missed something. Missed something obvious here. Let's go to mining, smelting. It's activated. Unlock the smelter, which produces steel. And unlock the advanced smithy. Okay. Is it because I don't have these other products? Fuel factory. Unlock the fuel factory. Do we even have that? I don't see those in here. Missing something obvious here. Let's see. It might be we need to start accessing these tabs. Processing. Or. Here we go. Here we go. So, yeah, we need to. We've got enough buildings now where we need to. We can't rely on this all tab. We got to go into. Oh, there's a little arrow here that allows us to scroll. I didn't even see it. Okay, yeah, we've got more stuff to build. The advanced smithy. Uh, does this tell us? Fuel factory can process timber or coal into refined fuel for the kiln. Yeah, we need a bunch of this stuff. Iron and refined fuel into steel. So we need the fuel factory before we can even use the smelter. So we've got kind of some industrial buildings over here. I guess I'm going to keep building till we get workers. Uh, We need the fuel factory first, I believe. Do that. And then we're gonna need the smelter, which will use the refined fuel and the iron that we already have and turn it into steel, which will be a useful building material for us. So I don't have anybody to put in these buildings, but uh, you have a builder that can do some work for us while we're waiting. Running at five times speed. I could kick that up to 10 times. We might. If I get really stuck, then I'll do it. But um, I'll keep it at five times speed. That gives us a little bit of time to learn the game, actually, as we go. All right, what else do we have in that production menu that we could be making that we're not? Advanced smithy. Can we upgrade our existing smithy? We can. Here it takes materials we don't have. Yep, we need that steel. 
And the fuel factory is going to do it for us. It's going to get us what we need to make the steel. It's us refined fuel from timber or coal. Uh, how are we doing on iron? We've got 202 iron. We could switch this over to... Can we switch this to coal or not? Maybe not. Yeah, we can switch that over to coal if we want, or we can try and get another mine down. Right now, our biggest issue is workers, right? It's not, not more buildings. It's worker problems. How's our water? Is that recovered? It's gotten better. Maybe I can take a worker off of this second well. In fact, you can see they're making use of the storage here, which is nice. Hopefully that's saving some trips. Looks like we've got some iron and some stone being collected here from the quarry and our mine. That's probably not a bad location for that. Storage. Looks like our carved stone road got built. Some of it did here. We put some down near this storage yard. Assuming that's where they're making a lot of trips. And I was trying to see the pathing of these folks that head out to the seaport. Because this might be a good road to do. Um, we got 83 cut stone. Let's do it. Let's mark this road for improvement. We'll come all the way across. And just leave it at that for now. We'll kind of upgrade the roads and sections. Stone should be better. We've got three people working on it, but I guess some of that's getting converted into the cut stone. So I guess we're doing good. In fact, I could probably borrow people from that. All right, we've got another worker. I'm going to put them back on here, I think, our clay, mo our sand pit. Let's do that. Get clay. That's going to help us get this reed farm going. And it's going to give us material for our kiln factory to eventually make brick. Crime has occurred in your settlement. Oh no. You can use the sheriff's office to find them and ex use the expel button in the upper right corner of the character detail to expel them. The other, the occurring cr of crime, the occurrence of crime is a sign of extremely low happiness. Crime can only be eliminated by increasing citizens happiness, churches, alcohol, and candies. And also, all right. Yeah, happiness was it was it a hundred? We're down at sixty-five. I'm sure I'm missing some obvious signs, obvious ways to improve it. Clothing looks really bad. I did say I was gonna build a tailor. What do they use for leather wool? Let's put a tailor down. I could have sworn I did already. Would have been over here. Let's get a tailor down. But we continue this road up over here. Boom, we've got some industry going. That's our hunters. I don't think they need to necessarily be in the woods all isolated. We've got one working. Uh, let's drop a tailor building and at least get it built. Oh, I could have sworn we had one, but... Maybe not. Um, this way or the other way? Do it this way for now. Get that build water. Starting to decline. It was at 100. Desperate for more workers. These people to grow, are kind of kids and students to grow up and get educated. They can join the workforce here and help the colony survive. Look at all these broken legs. What's going on? They're slipping on the ice, maybe. We have one person per clinic. Eventually we can upgrade that. How are we doing on technology? We've managed to keep one person working in the laboratory, right? So the research building, where is that? Here. We've managed to keep Giselle, I guess, working on research. In fact, we're about to get another point. I 
think that's worthwhile keeping someone on that. Okay, a reed field, reed field did get built. I'm going to let our sand pit worker continue to get clay. They can just kind of store it up if they need to. And then uh, we'll turn on. We'll switch that person over to work at the kiln factory and get us bricks if, if we don't get more people soon. Oh, we got another person. I'm going to want to get someone on this field. It's November. We missed a whole other year of production. Let's see about animals. Nobody knew. Man, it's snowing. Uh, you know what we need to do is prioritize this Taylor building and maybe put the next worker there. In the meantime, what can they do for us that's productive? Let's put them on bricks. I, no, I just lost somebody else. He just replaced Polly as a stone cutter. We lost our stone cutter, died. Shoot. All right, I'm going to take this person off. I want to have at least one laborer moving around. Winters seem like they're getting colder here. People are not happy. And I'm guessing it's clothing is the big deal now. Clothing, and then like I said, I want to upgrade these houses. Because they will... The fuel will last longer. And I think their happiness will go up if we can do it. But we need... Bricks. And we need steel for these building kits. So we're working towards that. But man, it's a little uh, a little sketchy. Fire. We got a fire that's coming. <laughs> immigrants. I'm going to hold off on the immigrants. I'm just afraid with one little clinic, we're going to get disease and stuff. I don't know. It may, that may not be so smart. We haven't built a town hall either. But I don't want uh don't want my population to have a die off and they kind of alluded to that, you know, if your people get the plague. I'm trying to avoid that catastrophe. It may not be the best strategy. We got two people that are injured. I've got sixty four citizens begging for clothes. Yep, that's our issue. And then four are freezing as a result of that. We got our new tech point. There's people who want houses. Um, food's okay. Water's okay. These aren't great. These numbers are down from where they once were. We just got another worker. Um, what's going on with the Taylor building? We're still waiting on materials. We need stone and we need iron ore to be delivered. Okay, did somebody just die? Yep, four have died. We had two workers free. Now we've only got one. People are freezing to death. We're definitely going to get someone here in this Taylor building as soon as we can. We're down to one builder, so building is slower. Let's uh, let's take someone off the quarry. And maybe put them... Should we put them as a builder to speed this up? No, it's being built. It's being built now. Let's leave that second person as a laborer right now for a minute, and then we'll put them in the Taylor building as soon as that's built. And hopefully they have what they need for clothes. Their hunters, I think, are bringing in some leather. Do we have goods? Got lots of fuel. Fuel's looking good. I like that for a change. Production materials, raw materials, ink, planks, timber. Textile materials. We've got some leather. We have a lot of feathers. We have flax. We have al a little bit of alpaca wool. I don't know where we would have gotten that. Just waiting on the Taylor building to be built. Looks like our builders are taking a break. Okay, they're back at it. February is here. to get someone on these pastures that uh something that would get us like a clothing material this is getting us food and 
I guess we're getting feathers. So this can be made to into clothing. Okay, Taylor Building's at 58 out of 87 construction steps. It's almost there. That's going to be a priority. We've got 65 people complaining about lack of clothing. I'll put two workers, if I can, into that. Just about there. We're still grabbing up clay, so that's good. Does this show what our supply is? we got 15. I'll wait till that gets to like 40 or something, and then maybe we'll move that person over into the kiln factory. All right, here comes our builder. Hopefully they'll finish up. March has arrived. All right, let's get someone in here. Clothing, please. Rough clothes. Rough clothes. Get on it. Leather. We're probably going to need... Someone else died, right? Oh my gosh, Jaden the farmer has been murdered. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not good. <laughs> that's That's really not good. Oh boy. Look at our graveyard. It's filling up. Oh man, that's not so great. All right, let's do services. We're going to have to get, um, where would that be? The law and order kind of stuff. Public. I have to unlock that. Okay. Have it. Do I not have it? I may not. Let's look at the tech tree. I think I got a point to spend. Um, where would this be? Livability police station. There it is. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it. Activate. Where should that be? Um, we got a lot of agriculture down here. We got a lot of industry up here. I suppose we could do some like city service stuff out to the east a little, maybe. Yeah, because we're out of range where of the marketplace for housing. So let's uh put a little municipal stuff over here. This probably is um what would this be in services police station? Let's pop the police station down, boom. In fact, we could maybe build the town hall as well. Uh let's Let's put the town hall up front. Boom. There, boom. Oh, I'm kind of encroaching on the gatherers area. We may need to move. We may need to move this further out. So I'm going to put the police station behind our kind of town hall. Maybe what makes sense could be right across the street here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Do it right across the street. Boom. And let's throw a priority on the police station because we know we've got issues there. Town is developing well. Should we go to the town hall to see if they'll take us in? Uh, you can try, but there is no town hall yet. These are the immigrants that have arrived. Did we miss out on the fire? It is raining. Maybe maybe we didn't have problems. They went to school for study. Oh, we got four workers now. Okay, can this guy take another worker? Let's get someone else doing clothing. Let's get someone on this field quickly. Do flax. And do we have new animals? Probably not. We don't. Water is suddenly looking a whole lot better. And fuel for homes is okay. We just can't, we're just coming out of winter, I guess. I've got two workers. What's next? Should we put someone on the kiln? I don't think we need to look after food. Look at our food situation. It's not great. 
Let's get another field down. We do these standard farms. Same as the farm, but the size is fixed. Farm. Let's do that. Um, boom. Okay, that should get built pretty quick. We gotta clear out some materials. I wonder if we can harvest these animals. Doesn't look like it with uh, this key. Is there anything? Gather plants, gather rocks, gather trees, gather all. Yeah, I don't see an option to just grab these little herds of animals here. Um, speaking of which, though, we could put another hunter in. Let's do that. That'll help our food situation and maybe materials for clothes. Looks like we starved out our iron mine. How are we doing on that? Iron's still at 126. Stone, we're getting more cut stone. That's our road. Still needs to be constructed. Our tailor is working away. They produce 60 clothes. We're down to 17 people needing clothes, so hopefully we won't lose citizens to freezing. Looks like uh, happiness is slowly climbing back up as well. Happy to see that. Let's get one more worker placed. Uh, Veg processing. Yeah, we lost our cook. So add a cook back then. Yeah, let's, uh, let's stop this episode here. We are inching closer towards being able to do housing upgrades. We've done some road upgrades to speed up. Citizen transportation. We've got a trading ship here. I guess we can do this before we leave. Let's do it. Merchant ship. I don't think there'll be anything for us to get yet. Food. We're down to 796. It might not hurt to buy something food wise, just in case. Fat and flour. Um, what could we fruit candy would help happiness. Boy, it's not cheap though. Uh, let's get, oh man, that's not cheap. We don't have much money. Let's hold off on that. Hopefully we can recover happiness. The mutton is pretty darn cheap. Smoked meat. Guessing that's edible now. Good myth beef, domestic fuel, the barbecue house, provides better filling this and straight, slight stress relief. Let's spend 600 bucks on this. What is that going to be? Something like 80 or something? 400? So what, another 40, so 120 of this. Let's do that. And then uh, 600. Let's do that and then send that guy off. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of boost to our food and maybe that'll help morale a tiny bit too. Cut stone and stone. Interesting. Why do we not have stone? All right. Well, let's leave it here for now. We will pick it up next episode. For now, it's Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks, as always, to Glattercat patrons and channel members. Sincerely appreciate your support. It is truly what keeps the channel live. Thank you for that. And I'll see you all in the next episode.